Greetings, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. I have a riddle for you. What kind of monsters are the most popular in the game industry these days? That's right, zombies! These fashionable and lovely creatures are firmly established in pop culture today. We'll be talking about them today. So let's welcome the following games. Runner, Zombies After Me! Slasher Runner, None Attack, Run and Gun! And RPG Slasher, Twin Blades! The first one is Zombies After Me! The developers of this game decided not to get preoccupied with trying to come up with any original ideas, so they simply crossed a runner with zombies. As a result, we got a mediocre runner with zombies. No one knows why they're there. The dead guys are a kind of obstacle you have to evade, but nothing more than that. Not even having the possibility to shoot them just makes me sad, since zombies exist in video games to be killed in mass quantities. But alas, there is no such possibility in this game, and that's just sad. But now a bloody slasher runner called Nun Attack Run and Gun copes with this perfectly. This game is a sequel to the freshly released arcade shooter Nun Attack, which tells about the adventures of four smashing nuns struggling with evil. With arms at the ready, the Holy Sisters shoot up the monstrous creations of their sinful fallen sister. Just like the first part, Run and Gun is a cool game with an original, somewhat Tarantino-like atmosphere with dynamic gameplay. Choose one of the heroines and dive into a breathtaking run through the dark worlds to purge hordes of evil spirits like werewolves, zombies, and vampires. It should be noted that each of the characters has their own unique skills and weapons that you'll be able to upgrade throughout the game. In general, sexy nuns versus monsters is a pretty interesting and novel idea, which the developers of our last game here also thought. In the RPG slasher Twin Blades, you are to control a cute sister named Angelica, clean up her hometown and its neighborhood from hordes of zombies that have risen from their graves. Initially, a nun has a wide range of cold and small arms in her arsenal. Angelica has only a scythe for the picturesque slashing of her enemies and a gun using mana as her energy supply. Over time, weapons and features of Angelica herself can be updated with useful bonuses such as firing and freezing. I'd like to point out that the upgrades are made by Father Ricardo, the head of the monastery, and instead of taking coins for payment, like in other normal games, he wants the hearts of zombies. What does he need them for? Does he eat them? Is he just an obsessed collector? Come see what I added to my zombie heart room this week! Besides, Twin Blades will surely delight you with vivid hand-drawn graphics in the classic anime style and the fights with huge bosses. Figure the shredding of countless brain-eating zombies should also bring you a lot of enjoyment but do not underestimate the enemy. During the game, the local cadavers take note of their colleagues from Plants vs. Zombies and acquire headgear in the form of pots and pans. What can I say here? Everything evolves, even zombies. So that's all for today. If you like this review, then download it. Put like, subscribe to the channel, and join the group. This was Jay with the review from Mob.org. See you soon!